Merzen from Derry. Uh, I have a degree in electrical and electronic engineering. And uh, when, I, when I finished university, I worked for the ESB in Sligo and Letterkenny doing uh, high voltage network planning and design. And then I, I started working in DuPont in uh, the early 80s. I stayed in DuPont for nearly five years. Got fed up working with a large multinational, too many rules, regulations. Not a great career path because I was an electrical engineer and they were a chemical production company. So I started this business basically in 1987 and I was in Derry up until the you know, early, two, basically 2002. And then we, we basically came across the border and started a business here in, in Burnfoot at the Donegal and we, we haven't looked back. A lot of our staff in the factory in Derry, we had about 65 people, a third of our staff were from Donegal anyway. The, the cost to acquire land here to build a factory was, was about you know, 7 or 80 percent lower than, than in Derry. Uh, the workforce here, was, I think there's a very good work ethic in Donegal because you, you, a lot of people come from a farming background and they might know anything about engineering but they've all done a bit of maintenance around the house. So really, you know, a, a bit of training and uh, the fact that the, the people would have worked maybe in the whole textile sector, which is very difficult, but people in the textile sector have a great work ethic and it's a matter of retraining them to do what we want. And we found that it was quite easy to do given the, the appetite for work in this area. So we've gone, we, we have nearly 300 people here now. Like we have virtually no turnover of people. And it's very important when you're skilling them up uh, and spending a lot of time and effort in, the, in training them, for example, to operate machinery, to program equipment. And we're looking for, you know, to have employees be involved in automation too, which makes it very competitive. So if you make all that investment, it's very important you, you retain them. And we have, like, compared to companies that maybe are on the, the East Coast, we have, we have less than 1 or 2% turnover per year. We have a very large power supply here. The ESB were able to facilitate us with nearly one megawatt of power. Now you would struggle to get that in certain other parts of Ireland, and particularly in Dublin. There's a lot of strain on the ESB network to get large amounts of power. You will find in the rural areas you have a better chance of getting access to large amounts of electrical power. And we found generally the utilities have been very good here. The broadband system's fine here. So th th there's no real restrictions to doing business in this part of the world. And I think Donegal in particular, I think you've got access to the, univer uh, to the university in Derry at McGee. And you've also got the, the airport in Derry. You've got the airport in Dublin. You've got the airport in Sligo. So we, we actually are reasonably well served in Donegal for, for commuting to the outside world or bringing customers in from the outside world.